Planet Dolan. What is cold sweat ice cream? What kind of ice cream is literally laced with a prescription drug? Some of these you may have tried before, others you definitely haven't. Here are 15 of the most bizarre ice cream flavors you can find anywhere. Hi there, my name is Doopy and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 15, bone marrow and smoked cherry. You know how big monster villains will talk about eating your bones and sucking out the marrow? Well, now that villain can be you. This ice cream is made with real bone marrow. And you know, for some added sweetness, there's smoked cherry. Of course, you probably made the call on whether or not to try this after reading bone marrow. So it seems like a confusing decision to even bother with the cherry. Number 14, charcoal. This is a flavor that became trendy a few years ago for supposed health benefits. Supposedly, it's a decent option for people who are lactose intolerant but still want to have some ice cream. All you have to do is not mind that both the ice cream and the cone are made from and taste like activated charcoal. Number 13, raw horse meat. Here's the fun part. This isn't called raw horse meat because the ice cream is horse meat flavored. It's like when they name ice cream cookie dough because it's actually vanilla but has chunks of cookie dough in it. Yeah, this is like that. The ice cream itself is vanilla. It's called horse meat because of the added chunks. Number 12, octopus. Just in case raw horse meat isn't your go-to flavor, don't worry! You can also get basically the same kind of ice cream, but with octopus chunks instead. It's a perfect option for those days when you're eating ice cream and you think to yourself, this is great, but I really wish there was a tentacle in it, and maybe some soy sauce. Number 11, tomato. We won't be picking on Japan forever, but they brought us horse meat and octopus ice cream, so by comparison, this is at least relatively normal. There's just one thing that's unusual here. That's a haagen logo. It turns out haagen has a pretty good thing going in Japan, making odd ice cream flavors. These ones are tomato and vegetable flavors. You know, in case you wanted some vegetables to balance out the horse meat and octopus. Number 10, cold sweat. Here's the situation. You order yourself some ice cream. Two scoops in a cup or whatever, however you like it. What you're given first is not ice cream. It's a sheet of paper. That sheet of paper is a legal waiver. That's what happens when you order cold sweat, an ice cream flavor from Sunny Skies Homemade Ice Cream in North Carolina. The ice cream is spicy and includes a bunch of hot peppers. The legal waiver is so you can't sue them if you end up hurting yourself with the ice cream. Because apparently, that's a concern. They also have an even spicier variety. They call it Exit Wound. Number 9. Pizza Ice cream is great. Pizza is great. Having pizza and then having ice cream? That's great too. You could even make a case for making an ice cream pizza, like an ice cream cake, but flat. But pizza ice cream? Like ice cream that's flavored like pizza? That's pushing things too far. Science was never meant to be used for this. Number 8. Sauerkraut Urban Churn in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania decided that to celebrate the new year in truly Germanic fashion, they'd offer something to supplement the traditional pork and sauerkraut dinner. The answer, of course, was sauerkraut ice cream. They sold out of the flavor quickly, but said that if you wanted to try it yourself, just add sauerkraut to vanilla ice cream and it's pretty similar. Number 7. Basil Like pizza, there isn't anything wrong with basil as a food. It's just why. Why ice cream? There are plenty of perfectly good things to add basil to that aren't ice cream. Maybe it's actually really good and we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Or maybe it tastes like pesto. Who out there is brave enough to find out? Number 6. Eh, black licorice. 
Of all the flavors here, this one makes the most sense because black licorice is technically a candy, so it being applied to ice cream is perfectly logical. But the problem with black licorice ice cream is that it tastes like black licorice. That should be reason enough for you to avoid it. I can taste it just thinking about it. Number five, lobster. Again with the seafood. Stop trying to make seafood and ice cream happen. Japan has already tried ice cream flavored like octopus, squid, fish, and shrimp. But lobster ice cream? You can blame the United States for that, and Maine in particular. Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium originated the idea in 1988, supposedly after a customer commented that they carried every flavor except lobster. The owner replied, come back tomorrow. And with that, a monstrosity was born. Number four, garlic. Like basil, there's nothing particularly wrong with garlic in the right context. It's just that ice cream isn't the right context. It would be like if you had a nice chocolate cake and you just smashed a steak right into the middle of it. Like, both of them are great, but why would you put them together? This would be a good bait and switch to pull on Dracula though. Number three, horseradish. You know, for if you want your ice cream to burn your nose. At least with the cold sweat ice cream, you can brag about the whole waiver thing and you've got hot peppers and whatnot. The flavor might even be okay. But this, this is horseradish. It doesn't need to be an ice cream. It just doesn't. Number two, Pit Viper. One more trip to Japan on this one, because here's ice cream that tastes like snakes. Or at least it's supposed to. Apparently, it actually tastes like almonds and garlic. But in certain parts of Japan, particularly the southern islands, vipers are actually a major problem. Of course, they're also considered to be an aphrodisiac. In that regard, though, they're probably not as effective as... Number one, Viagra. Yeah, this isn't so much a flavor, really. It's actually just a straight up drug. Viagra ice cream doesn't taste like Viagra, because why would it? It's usually just flavored like something else, champagne in some cases. But the thing is, the ice cream is actually laced with Viagra. It's a functional thing, because, you know, if you're out on a date, it's probably more romantic to have some ice cream than it is to pop a pill. Check out the latest Dolan Card update, Nixiumville. A new character, heaps of new skins, a new power-up, new level, daily missions, and offline mode. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.